Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, so I just got done packing the truck. Check it out. Just got done packing the truck. Got the bow, got the pack, got everything I need um, for high country deer camp, antelope camp. I got a couple different bags. I'll switch out for antelope day packs, um, camouflage, just random clothes, gear. I've got all of my camouflage and bringing up to high country camp in here. Um, just clothes for everyday use. Got a little, little bucket of stuff there. I just got just about everything in here. Got my Helix. Um, this is going to be the main bow of the trip. Um, my backup bow will be the RX3, which is in this case right here. And that thing's all sided in, dialed. This thing's all sided in and dialed. I say this is going to be the main bow. I don't know. I might. This is definitely going to be the main mule deer bow, and I may use the RX3 for antelope. I don't know. We'll see. We'll switch off back and forth. But yeah, so this thing's loaded. Truck is loaded. Got the back end of it loaded too. We got, we got the cooler. We got another cooler way back in there. And the canvas cutter. And we got an antelope decoy. And a uh, this right here is just a ground blind. And I got a couple chairs back there. So yeah, we're pretty much loaded, ready to rock. Y'all, I'm so stoked. Um, just locking up the house now. Finally on my way on a 16 day Western bow hunting trip. How legit is that? All right guys, I have officially crossed over into public land, Nebraska. So I am going to uh, grab my bow, put all my camo gear on, put my boots on, set up the day pack, and uh, we're gonna hunt antelope all day today. Hopefully we can get on something. Like I say, this is kind of gonna be like a, more of a scouting mission, but obviously if I can get some stocks, I'm gonna try to put them on. But Wes and I are coming back through Nebraska after I go up through Idaho and after I come down from Utah, um, we're gonna come back through Nebraska and hunt antelope for three or four days. So kinda wanted to get a good scope of what's going on out here. And uh, yeah, like I say, if I'm gonna if, 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 if I'm gonna be out here, the heck was that? If I'm gonna be out here, I might as well put some stocks on. If I can get on some goats, we're gonna do just that. So anyway, gonna get all set up now. ready I'll put the tripod in it and hook up my camera to the pack put my side pouch on water bottle we'll be good to go all right got everything set up on the pack I switched my uh, camera mount this is the capture by peak design that's what I carry my DSLR camera with switch that to this pack got everything loaded tripod strapped up I think we're good to go. I'm just gonna throw water in the pack, throw it in the truck, and start driving. Hopefully we can get on some goats. All right, y'all. Putting on the first stock. I just glassed a goat coming up over this hill. He's about a quarter mile away out in this grassland. I'm trying to get up on him. I'm trying to get to that mound right up there. He was right on the fence line.
Well, that's pretty much the end of that stock. Um, this road right here, that goat was running this fence line way down here. He's kind of working back and forth. and I stalked him, I belly stalked him for a couple hundred yards. And uh, he was kind of working that fence up and down, but he wasn't really committing to anything. He was just kind of hanging out. And then there's two other trucks that drove down this road. And if you can see the road like way down there, it goes up the hill. Um, I never saw those trucks go up the hill. So I think both of those trucks saw this goat and stopped on the backside of that hill. Maybe got out of their trucks or something and started trying to put a stock on because that goat instantly locked in their direction. And I was able to close a little bit more distance, but that thing just kept walking away. And uh, closest I ever got was 140 yards. And then he just didn't like what was going on. He turned around, saw me. He was hearing those other guys, I think, over the hill. And he bolted. But <laughs> that's all right. Fun stock for sure. I'm just walking back to where I started the stock. Grabbing my backpack because I left it behind. There it is. I dropped my pack right here because I tried to get to that fence line and work that fence line down and I did. But that goat just kept walking away. So we're gonna pack up, get back to the truck. That is crazy. I have never ever seen a collared mule deer. All right guys, so here's what we got going for us. Just on the other side of this hill, I'm gonna drop down, there's like a waterway, a cut, that drops down into um, a creek bed. And I just glassed up a buck three quarter mile away. He's on that little pond, just hanging out, and there's another buck moving to the pond. I think that creek bed is low enough. If I can get down in it, I can make a stalk and get up close to that water. Hopefully just pop up over the edge and be able to have a shot. But We'll see. There's two bucks down there. They both look pretty decent. And uh, I just loaded up the pack with a bunch of water and um, batteries and stuff like that. I obviously got my camera. We're going to head down that way. Hopefully we can get in range. What I thought was two bucks was ten. I couldn't see him down the cut. They pegged me and got up and started running. But they were running towards these mounds, so I'm trying to get around on the back side of the mound to see if I can cut them off before they make the cut. Just gotta get over this mound. And we'll see how far they are. Well, they were supposed to come up through this cut. But as I was working on the back side of the mound, this way, looping around, another buck was out in this open field and busted. And came running right through this cut, right where they were supposed to be. Game over. Now I got probably a two mile walk back to the truck. Shoot. I don't know how well you can see that, but I counted 30 goats in that. Well guys, I think that is it for today's video. Um, I'm making my way off the plains. Might run into town, grab some ice for the coolers, grab a bite to eat, and uh, yeah, I might be out here again tomorrow morning, just kind of cruising around, um, seeing if I can get any more stocks on, but otherwise tomorrow I am headed to Idaho. 
So it's going to be a ton of fun. Guys, this is just day one of 16 days. So I'm going to be uploading just as often as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you like this video, remember to smash the subscribe button. Give this video a like. And uh, if you want any Whitetail Fit gear, I am just putting things back in stock now. Y'all sold me out of hats and t-shirts in like a couple weeks, which is really, really cool. Um, but by the time you're watching this video, things should be back in stock. So go over to whitetailfit.com, grab your shelf, grab, grab your shelf, grab your shelf, grab your shelf, your merch. <laughs> I'm tired. I need food. All right, that's it for today. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you on the next one.